This week has been a terribly tragic week for the state of Israel, for all of Am Yisrael, all of the Jewish people, as we've lost uh, more than two dozen of our chayalim, of our soldiers, who have put their lives on the line and ultimately sacrificed their lives to protect Am Yisrael, to protect the Jewish people and our right to the land of Israel. And so we join the rest of Am Yisrael, we join their families in mourning them. You know, a lot of times we look at a number, a number that's thrown on a television screen, that's thrown in an article, and we don't realize that every chayal has a story of their life, every chayal has a family who is in mourning, who is in Avelos now, but who has the comfort in knowing that the way in which their son died was defending Am Yisrael, wearing a uniform of the Jewish people with a patch of the Jewish people. The Israeli flag, which represents the history of Am Yisrael, the return of our people to our land, and ultimately the destiny of the Jewish people. Rav Soloveitchik, many years ago, was once asked, about the flag of the State of Israel and whether it has any halachic value. And I'd like to read to you from his response in his Chamesh Drashos. He said, if you ask me how do I look upon the flag of the State of Israel and has it any halachic value, I would answer plainly in the Shulchan Aruch, it says, one who has been killed by non-Jews is buried in his clothes so that his blood may be seen and avenged. In other words, the clothes of the Jew acquire a certain sanctity which spattered with the blood of a martyr. How much more is this so of the blue and white flag, which has been immersed in the blood of thousands of young Jews who fell in war defending the country and the population? It has a spark of sanctity that flows from devotion and self-sacrifice we are all enjoined to honor the flag and treat it with respect. And so we look at the Chayalim who are currently in Aza, who are defending the right of Am Yisrael to Eretz Yisrael. And we ask Hashem to watch over them and to protect them. We look at the families who have lost Chayalim and we say, with all the comfort that we try to extend to them, their child has given their life on behalf of Am Yisrael. How many people are able to say that one gave their life defending the Jewish people and defending the Jewish land? This week's parasha, Parashas Masay, speaks about all of the various trips, the sojourns that the Jewish people took in the Midbar, from the time we left Mitzrayim, ultimately until we, we entered the land of Israel. And Moshe recorded each and every journey and Rashi explains that with a mushal. Rashi says it's as if a child is going with his father on a trip. And everywhere they go, they recognize what it is that they're seeing, where they stop, who they saw. And when they return from the trip and the child is sitting on the father's shoulders, the child is walking and the father is pointing out to him, look, this is where we stopped for this. This is where we slept over there. This is where you stopped walking and I had to carry you. And so Moshe Rabbeinu is writing for future generations, telling the story of our people. And so he writes down every single place that we should never remember, and that we should never forget any moment that transpired. And so Rav David Mililov says now that Moshe Rabbeinu is no longer writing about the journeys of the Jewish people from back then. It is Eliyahu Hanavi who is writing about every single journey of Am Yisrael during this Golos until the time when Mashiach comes and ultimately that Sefer, that book of our journeys will be closed. And in each writing of Eliyahu is the story of what transpired at every moment throughout our journey. This week, these last few weeks, have been another page written by Eliyahu Anavi about the journey of the Jewish people, about the courage and about the sacrifice of so many chayalim who now join other chayalim in Gan Eden. And we only hope that HaKadosh Baruch Hu puts an end to the suffering of the people in Eretz Yisrael, 
that he gives comfort to the family who have lost sons, chayalim, and that HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings ultimate tranquility to those who are living in Eretz Yisrael and he protects all of the chayalim who are battling for the future and for the right of the Jewish people to be living in Eretz Yisrael. May Hashem protect them and bring them home safe to their families and bring this part of our journey in Galos to its end so that we can commemorate Tisha B'Av coming up not as a day of mourning but as a day of joy, a day of happiness with the rebuilding of our Beis HaMikdash we need it so badly Bimhera Amen. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.